Hey everybody, we're doing another video here today with the Arctic 50 Black Horizon, which they were just handing out for free in the events. Um, I don't think I've ever done an Arctic 50 video before, but if you look at this, um, it's got a little number four there by the ammunition. So this is, and it, even on the stock there, it says CODM Cottom Anniversary 2023. So it's a special fourth anniversary Arctic 50 Black Horizon. I have all the attachments that reduce ADS time, plus stopping power and a suppressor. Um, this camel looks really cool, so I'm excited to inspect it here. But then also, just because it's 4th anniversary, I threw on a 4th anniversary operator blackjack here. So let's go take a look at this. Alright, side inspect here. Yeah, it's got some extra um, stuff, extra pieces of metal on it, I guess the barrel and stuff it's pretty cool um as for the arctic 50 i don't know oh i guess it's got a faster fire rate i was gonna say i don't know why you would use it over the locust or the koshka or the dlq but i guess yeah there's that fire rate even with the stopping power reload it fires faster but this will be a one shot anywhere to the upper body it's hard to see that number 100 there but it 100 something but it is there so that's what we're using today Okay, so I do have to confess before we get too far into this that my normal sniper gunsmith that I use utilizes a four times scope. Enemy so down. seem to be doing okay with the six times scope, but just Lost giving you that warning. I'm used to a little bit more mobility. I'm surprised that one went through. Okay, let's see if anyone else is going to go past. This is a front line. And I'm sniping, so I don't really... Oh, man. I'm not really sure how far up to sniper. move. Where is a sniper? Oh, all right, teammate. I guess that was good. He's going to snipe, too. This is what I wanted. Trip mine. Somebody just took him out. Where are you? Where are you? Somebody sniped him. Oh, come on. Contact oh, man. Enemy. Switching to the nail gun. Oh, you can't hit him through the car. I gotta reload. That's so embarrassing. Oh, let me try again here. Okay, there's definitely a guy there. He threw something out. Oh, what? Where did... Oh, man. This other team must be really bad. Some of these guys. I don't know how they're winning. Then again, I'm also not killing them. If I didn't have a sniper, like I'd be dominating right now. Sniper eliminated. Or at least the four times scope. I just, well, at least we got one before I got ambushed. I just like the four times scope better on sniping because it's easier to use at close range. I don't have the insane turnaround slide flick skills like some people do. Okay, there's definitely a guy here running around. I don't know where he went. Is he upstairs? Oh, he must be upstairs. Sniper. Okay, I almost got sniped there. Oh, there's a guy. Okay. That was a nice flick headshot. Speaking of flick shots. Okay, now there's nobody up here. That's fine. Might sit here for a little bit. Oh no, it's halftime. How do we only have 13? I better be the MVP right now. Oh, not quite, okay. Four and three, and the leader had six. Hey, this is a great spot to start the half Lost when you have a sniper. Oh, I should also mention, I like to customize the reticle too. I haven't done that. I haven't done a sniping video in a while, but I don't like the default oh, one. Inside. Okay, there's one instance where the six times, or almost six times, I think it's just under six. But the def anyway, the default scope, it's like five and a half or six times, comes in handy when you're doing stuff across the map. With enemy. But this is where I miss having the four times scope. But I still love this camo. I just can't, like I said in the intro, I just, I'm not sure why people use the Arctic 50. Although, I guess if you want to play Battle Royale with it, um, there are a lot of good attachments you can put on to make the um, the aim, what do they call that? It's not aim shake, but 
to hold the barrel steady when you're in. I thought that would be easier to take out with the nail gun. Um, so you can build it out so that like your operator will hold his breath for like 11 seconds while you take the shot. So it is really stable if you prefer to snipe like that, but for like team deathmatch, um, you know, when you build it out that way, it takes so long to aim down the sights. I don't know that it's practical unless you're just going to camp the whole match. Target's in sight. Okay, where's the target? I hate it when they say that and I don't know where the guy is. Okay. Let's change him up on the pallets here. There's got to be a guy right up there. Hey, we're actually sort of making a little bit of a comeback here. Not down by much. Oh, okay. All right, let's get a headshot on this guy. Oh, he's using it too. I wonder if he stole mine. Although, you know, pretty much everybody in the game did get this. I didn't have to do anything. I think it was just logging in to get it. Oh! Oh no, he start. That guy started with it. Okay, so there's another guy sniping. When I looked at him through my scope, it looked like he was aiming at the sky. I didn't even realize he saw me. Okay, that took a little bit longer than it should, but I still got the kill. Okay, we'll do a little reload. Oh, the other thing that's annoying is that with the stopping power here, you only get five rounds. In the Locust, you get like eight. Um, in the Koshka, you can equip something to get, um, like the, the base magazine is good you can equip an extended or on the dlq there's an extended that was a nice one <clears throat> so i feel like you're just kind of at a disadvantage if you use this for team deathmatch but this is a really sweet camo this might be Contact the coolest the enemy. looking sniper rifle camo that i have are we actually gonna win this sniper only down by five and i'm going a nice little streak here Okay, so people are running through here. Put this out in case they come up. Stand here. Oh, there's definitely a guy behind the wall there. Where did he go? Where is up here? Let's switch back. Oh, man. Okay, we're using the nail gun. I don't care. I actually want to win this. Now we have a lead. Friendly shock RC is coming. So. Deviated from the theme of the video. Use the nail gun, and we got the counter UAB. Oh come on, got him! There we go. Is that a seven streak? We could win this. I think that bell means we're almost running out of time here. So that looked like I sniped him, but I really didn't. Dog gun. Come on. He can't hit through the car. Get past the car. Got him. Eight streak now. I'm to get low on ammo. Oh man. How about that? Come on. Sending the penetration perk. Is he still there? Oh, he is. Come on. How did he hit me? Oh, that was a different guy. Man, we just need one more. I'm going to be really cautious here and go up on top. I'm going to be really upset if we lose this, because this is such a great comeback. Oh, come on. Come back. Got to get you. Oh, missed. Come on. Oh, we won. We won. I didn't get the final kill, but we won. Oh, nice. I got MVP. That big kill streak must have done it for me at the end there. I'm showing them my headshots. These are boring. Hey, 72, alright. Just considering I started out the match kind of complaining about the Arctic 50. 18 and 10 is really good. It's a really good KD ratio to finish the game with, and we won 60-59. Epic comeback for a really cool looking epic camo. Arctic 50, Black Horizon. This is the gunsmith. Let me know if you find a really good use for the Arctic 50. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching, everybody.